We are back again with one of Disney World's biggest fights. When you're in Magic Kingdom, do you go right or left? We're putting this controversial choice to the ultimate test in a head-to-head -head challenge. And I'm gonna win. Uh, in your dreams. It, I dream about it, I do. Now the left or right dilemma is one of those choices that you do have to make in Disney World. It does make more sense in Epcot when it comes to the World Showcase. People like to go to Mexico or to Canada and they have very strong opinions about it. But there's also a left and right dilemma here in Magic Kingdom. So when you walk down Main Street USA and get to the castle, which way do you head? Do you head left towards Adventureland or right towards Tomorrowland? We have our opinions, but today we're gonna put it to the test to see which is better. Now you might be wondering, why are we doing this? This is gonna be a great way to show you some of the surprising things that you might be missing out on around Magic Kingdom and find out once and for all if going right or left is gonna be better. And we do want to give a big shout out to Eric LK for this idea. He did give us the original idea to do left versus right in Epcot and that is up on our channel now so go check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. Eric is one of our regulars in our video premieres every Tuesday and Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern. If you've never been in one of our live chats on a Tuesday or a Saturday, be sure and come check those out, come hang with us. It's usually me in the chat, sometimes everybody else makes an appearance when they can, when they're not filming, but those are super fun. We love chatting with y'all every Tuesday and Saturday. We all look forward to it, and it's just another way for us to really talk to you one-on-one -on -one and get your opinion, and plus, if you have any video ideas, let us know because we might just make them. And set, go. go. All right, so I am heading into Adventureland because Fry chose Tomorrowland. So we get to do, we have two tasks. One is worth two points and one is worth one point. Whoever gets the most points by the end of it is the winner. But we can only do one thing in each land. So I will say the first person to finish this is going to get an additional five points just for speed. Along the way, we can actually earn bonus points by completing bonus challenges. You cannot leave the land until you've completed, finished a whole task. So that's what I'm going to do and we're made it to Adventureland. I need to check some wait times for Tomorrowland. Should I risk it and do Buzz Lightyear? It's currently only a 40 minute wait, which is a long time. but. That's not that long for Buzz Lightyear. We might have to risk it. Okay, so one of the bonus tasks is actually to spot three different ears. This is Bawa Bob's. So here we go. See the daisy ears, the new little mermaid ears, the pride ears. There's lots of really cute ones. There's Jack, lots of good stuff. I'll take one down. Now we are going to hopefully go find another store and for this Adventureland I am going to go for one of the higher points. So for the one point adventure here in Adventureland, um, it is actually just to watch Tiki Room for one point or you can do Captain Jack Sparrow's Pirate Adventure. That will take a little while, it's worth two points, I'm going to do it because Tiki Room would also take a little while. So it makes more sense for me, in my opinion, to do that. Hopefully I'll spot some ears along the way. I think I can do a lot of the two point tasks in other lands. So for right now, we are gonna do the one point task, which is ride People Mover in Tomorrowland. Okay, first kink in the plans. The pirate adventure does not open for another 25 minutes. So what I'm gonna do now is spend my time grabbing, hopefully some bonus points. One of the bonus points is eat three quick service snacks first. So I'm here next to Tortuga Tavern. I'm gonna grab a small bite from here and then I'm gonna grab a few small bites as I head around. All right, so here's one of my first snacks. I know this is so unconventional and has made me nervous, but I cannot leave Adventureland until I finish something. And I know by the time Fry gets over here, she will do the pirate adventure. So it makes sense to grab the points. I might miss out on the five bonus points for finishing first, but hopefully I can make up for it. So I grabbed the orange chicken strips from Tortuga Tavern. Now I will say Tortuga Tavern is not known for their food. There's a reason it's one of the worst here in Magic Kingdom, but it's here and it's in Adventureland and I can count it. Cheers, one. Okay, I won't say these are great, but I've chowed down. They're actually not half bad. They're all right. It's a nice change. Okay, I see Stitch out on the stage right now, so let's go meet him as some of the additional bonus points and see what else. Maybe we'll get a snack here. 
Okay, I really did not want to do this, but Tiki Room is only 10 minutes. I still have, I mean, honestly, it's 10 minutes until Adventureland post even opens. Because at this point, she's gonna beat me through all the lands and get all of the extra bonus points too. <sighs> I only wasted about five minutes, so I'm not too heartbroken. But I feel silly because my days just haven't started well lately. Hi, Stitch. How you doing? I know it's a tiny little camera. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Okay, so I'm coming here to the back row so I can be closest to the door so I can get out and keep going. And now I'm gonna do everything I can here before we move on to the next land. So now let's go over to Star Traders to find some ears. Here's the whole big wall of them. Um, okay, so we're gonna pick some. Let's pick, oh, these are kind of cute. Mini on a Vespa. Okay, there's ears number one in Tomorrowland. And one more thing before I leave Smartland, let's go get a snack. Right here, anti-gravity's galactic goodies. I'm feeling a cold brew float. How about that? It's only 12.09, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit in here because I know I can find ears in here. Yep, here we go, Frontier Trading Post. Trading Co. Some pink corduroy ears, there's one. Okay, I've done everything I can in Tomorrowland, so now we are heading to the next land over, which is Storybook Circus, and I'm actually very excited about the two-point task for this one because it's gonna be nice and relaxing, and we're gonna do it. The next land over is Storybook Circus. Now this land is technically inside Fantasyland, but it's a separate land of its own. This is a great area for the littler kiddos. Um, there's a splash pad back here that they can play on. We've got some younger kid rides, but there's also a big merchandise location back here and some character meet and greets. So I do enjoy this land. I'm not over here very often, but it is fun. If you do have little ones, I recommend you come check it out, but let's go find some ears and big top souvenirs. Now the next task for me is I have to do either Big Thunder Mountain here or spend 15 minutes at the Frontier Shooting Arcade and I know I'm losing a point but maybe I can make up for it in bonus because Big Thunder is 60 minutes right now. So I'm gonna spend 15 minutes, I just got here. So here it is, Frontier Shooting Arcade. Um, this is actually a free activity. It's one of the only opening day attractions left. There's not too many. This is one of them. And I'm going to set a timer and spend 15 minutes here. And right as soon as we walk in, right here we've got the Disney 100 ear hat. So there are number two ears, two of three. So we only have one more. I am heading towards the back to check on the wait times for character meet and greets. But I also want to show you one of the best tips for all of Magic Kingdom is back here in the very back of Magic Kingdom, very back of Fantasyland. One of my favorite places in all of Disney World is back here. Back here in this tent, which they're using right now, it's a line for Chip and Dale, but back here there are a bunch of chairs and tables, um, seats, there's even a water fountain back here, but if you come over here to these little boxes and no one is ever back here, it's amazing. If you need to charge your phone, if you need to recharge yourself, just come back here to Storybook Circus. And this, honestly, to me, is paradise. Hi, how are you doing? Have any good snacks lately? Are you full? No, I want to know. Have you ever had cold food? you know what that is. I just had some cold brew with ice cream. It was very, very good. Yes, you've had ice cream? Yeah, you like it? Well, I just had some with cold brew and it kind of changed my life. We get... 
Okay, I heard, I got it on I got it on tape. I got it on camera. Okay, we'll make sure you get some. I just had to tell you about it. Yeah, because I know you need it. And now we're gonna head right over here to the Fantasyland train station and hop on the train. Very quickly, I know I hate to kind of backtrack this way, but just right up here is walk up stand. I can grab a snack there, and then hopefully, I can run and get a second, a third pair of ears. Come up to um, Westward Ho because I never have an excuse to eat this candied bacon, and I'm gonna use it right now. And there's only two people in line. So now we're about to do a full lap on the Disneyland Railroad. Disneyland, excuse me. Wow. Um, on the Walt Disney World Railroad, there are three um, train stations, one at Main Street, one in Storybook Circus, and one in Frontierland. So in order to get these two points, we're gonna do the full lap, and we're gonna end up back here at Storybook Circus. Here it is, candy skewered bacon. This is so delish. If you've not been to West Coast, um, it's fun. They have jalapeno poppers, they also have corn dog nuggets. You don't wanna go to Casey's and get in that crazy lane. I'm gonna quickly eat this. I actually need to see how long until the next hall it. I don't want to watch it, but it's two points. And it's either that or you just turkey leg. And I'm already eating other snacks. So I really don't want to eat again. And you can ride the railroad the whole loop. So I'm going to stay here while people get on Main Street. Um, and we're going to keep going. Made it into Liberty Square. Now, I will say, I know there's stuff that got actual tasks I have to do. I also know that... Um, Yield Christmas shop normally has ears. So I'm going as fast as I can. <laughs> because then that's one of the bonus points done for me. Ears. Spotted Jack Skellington. Call it. Okay, I just realized. I accidentally skipped Tom Sawyer by coming to the ears. So, I'm gonna have to go do Tom Sawyer. Come back for the ears. Fully seated with those hands, arms, feet, and legs all the way inside this train. So I'm gonna head over to Tom Sawyer Island and explore the caves. There's quite a few of them, but it's a lot of fun. And Libertyville takes quite a minute. And it's currently going around, so that means I'd have to wait for it to finish and then also go back around. So Tom Sawyer it is. Tom Sawyer Island is just like a really fun kind of middle isle little island in the middle of Frontierland. But honestly, there isn't a ton, but it's a lot of fun and it's a great place to relax. All right, and now we are done in Storybook Circus. Time to head on to Fantasyland. I will say if you do ride the whole railroad, it is um, not really a time crunch. Like it's not a very long time, but it was probably about half an hour. Um, so keep that in mind. But now we're heading into the next land over to Fantasyland where I'm also gonna do the two point challenge. Welcome if you like dark caves, mystery mines, bottomless pits, shaky bridges, and big rocks, you've come to the best place I know. If you don't like creepy old scary places, don't worry, Huck Finn and myself, we're plenty squared too. All right, Tom said, so here we go. Here's Tom Sawyer's Island, and then the exit to one of the caves, so we'll have to go around. Now I actually really like Tom Sawyer, Quincy and I talk about it a lot. It's just really relaxing, it's really chill. Most people do not come over here. It's a great place to escape from crowds. There's a lot of benefits of it. Now there's not a lot to do, but even if your kiddos just need to run around and blow off some steam, it's a good place to come. All right, and our task for Fantasyland takes us over to the Tangled Restrooms. So over by the Tangled Restrooms in Fantasyland, if you come over here, to the left, I need to find the sign for it. There is actually a little Pascal scavenger hunt. There's a bunch of them over here. And so we're gonna find seven of them. All right, you see me? Okay. This looks like a, <laughs> I feel like I'm ghost hunting. If you don't like small spaces that are dark, don't go in the caves. See so right here, it says, look for friends of Pascal in the scenery, hidden among all the flowers and greenery. I know where some of them are. Okay, there's one on the window box. Underneath it, he's kind of beige. Okay, there's one. <laughs> there's another one down there on that rock. That's two. Okay, here's some stalagmites. And all that good jazz. But I'm gonna go back out now. 
because I've, I've walked through the cave. At the very least, I did not film everything because you can't see anything in here. He's right there. Okay, three of seven. Keep looking. Some of these are kind of hard. Oh, okay. Okay. It's very confined and sometimes that bothers me. Wait, this is the bridge that we just crossed. So it just made a circle. Okay, let's try this again. There's four up on Memento Mori on the corner. That's four. There's number five. Where else could they be? We only need two more. This is it, the daylight. Okay, okay, we're out of the caves. Okay. I don't love exploring all the caves, but what's done is done. Also, I'm pretty sure there's one over here, I think. Oh yeah, there he is, up on the window box. That's number six. Uh... Okay, I found the last one. He's up there, he's on the lamp post. Can you see him? He's very brown. He's on the lamp post. That is number seven. Task complete. All right, we made it back onto the boat, heading back across. Not running, but bow running to the ears. Then maybe holler president, I hope. I don't want to eat a turkey leg. Moving on to the next land, Liberty Square. And this one is hard. I don't really want to do either of these tasks, but I think I have to do the two point task just to get more points. Ugh. And if you watched our big last to leave Disney World challenge, you know why I don't want to do the Hall of Presidents. But you know what? It's hot today, the sun is out. Let's go inside to some AC, watch a show. Maybe we take a little nap and then we get two points out of it. Taking the boardwalk because there's not as many people over here. The boardwalk is also nice and shaded and normally it's a great way to get around parades. If you're trying to get around parades, you can literally see the <laughs> train and the, the Ye Hill Christmas shop. Please let me go look at those ears. All right, so we've made it over to Hall of Presidents. This is a show indoors, um, kind of retelling a little bit of the history of the American president and what that looked like. Here they are, third pair. Jack Skellington ears, very cute. Thank you, Jack. Okay, so now we are in Liberty Square. Our two options here are to eat a turkey leg or watch Hall of Presidents. While I have personal beef with Hall of Presidents, thanks to Last to Leave, uh, I'd, I'd rather get two points and sit in the AC. Let's see when the next show is. Okay, I've sat in here for about four minutes and I've really thought about it and I really wanna to try to get those five points. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I really think those five points could be the make or break for us. I don't know why, but I feel like in my chest it's gonna matter. So I'm gonna get, some turkey leg, ugh. and then also get another snack. Goodness gracious. Okay, well, turkey leg, so I just had one the other day in Epcot, and it was nice. It was really delicious, actually. It was kind of a game changer for me. And it's a Disney World classic. Although it's very divisive, it's definitely something people love to try. This is actually very tasty, very meaty. So, like, honestly, a lot of protein, so it's very filling. And it's very shareable, as long as you're fine, you know, trading bites with your family. It's a pretty good deal. This is nice and tender. Now I will say, some cons. A little greasy, you know. Most things are here in Magic Kingdom. And um, sometimes like you realize in this life like, ooh, I need a vegetable. This is one of those moments as I eat this. Okay, done with Hall of Presidents. Um, you know, I'll be honest, I took a couple of B-roll clips and then I shut my eyes for a little bit, okay? It's a good show. It's actually really cool with all of the animatronics of every single president up on stage, but I've seen it quite a bit recently, probably too much recently. Um, so I decided to take a little nap. 
because it's hot and I was inside in a dark room with AC. But I did it. And now we're heading to Frontierland. Sorry, scratch that, not Frontierland. We're going to Tom Sawyer's Island first and then Frontierland. Honestly, the riverboat is not there right now and it's nowhere to be found. So it's gonna take a few minutes to get back. I was gonna do that task, but I don't wanna wait that long because I want the five points for finishing first because that will really help me rack up some points. So instead, we're gonna do the two point task and we're gonna hop on a raft to Tom Sawyer Island and we're gonna explore all of the caves. Next up for Fantasyland, it's Count Seven Pascals or it's Ride the Carousel. I'm gonna find the Seven Pascals. I really think I can do it. I'm already over here where I know some of them are. So there's one there underneath the window seal, the one in the middle. So that's one Pascal. I know that there's more around here. One Pascal, where are you? Oh, there's the second one. There's two. Do you see him down there by the water? Pascal being all cute and stuff. There's two Pascals. All right, we've made it over to Tom Sawyer's Island. This is a great place for kiddos to run around, maybe run off some steam. It's been a long time since I've actually been over here to explore. Oh, that's his exit, so we gotta find the entrance. So we're gonna explore for a little bit, see what we can find in some caves. Maybe there's more on the other side of the stream. Okay, that's the same one I already found. So, oh, third Pascal. We have three, everyone, we have three Pascals. We have three Pascals. Just kidding, we're gonna start this way. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, there's a cave. Strange things happening here. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it is so dark. Oh my gosh, I hate this. So there, above Vladimir's poster, we have four bus gals up there. There's a fourth one up there. Very cute. I see him. Oh my, oh, ew, 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 ew. This is like my worst nightmare. This is the worst thing anyone could ever make me do. Oh my gosh, and the ground's not level. <laughs> this is so scary. Why is this so scary? Hey, I found a fourth over here. That's my total of five. There he is, down by the bridge. To be completely honest with you, I'm only looking at my phone screen right now because in real life, I cannot see. Six Pascals, we only need one more, and we get two points. That's not half bad. Supposedly, there is one more. Oh, light. Oh my goodness. We're back by the front. I'm gonna be honest, that was terrible. I hated that. I absolutely hated it. I see him, I see him. Okay, here on the building. Top corner up there. The very, it's hard to see, but he is up there. On the, it's like right next to the drain pipe on the left. Seven Pascals. Thanks Pascal, you were very hard to find. I'm done, task complete. We're, go we're going back. No more, no more. Okay, next up, I have to head over to Storybook Circus. Oh, is there a line for this? No. Okay, I'm gonna walk into Storybook. Treats ice cream, I say walk into. It's really just a walk up. But they have tall glasses of water here and I really need water. So pro tip, is that part of the game? Not necessarily. But this is helpful for anyone who needs water. Okay, grabbed our water and I know some of you probably are like, Emma, you can't stop at the competition. I totally agree. However, it took less than two minutes to grab this and hydration is so much more important than whatever you're doing in Disney World. I promise if you ever get sick or if you, you, know, you pass out or get overheated, that will ruin your trip more than taking two minutes to go get some water. So don't get, don't get mad at me, but stay hydrated, you know? Okay, I'm here at Storybook Circus. I can either ride Barnstormer for one point or I can go around the train for two. Yep. That sounds incredible. Someone's eating a frozen banana with chocolate and oh my gosh, it looked amazing. But I will say there are frozen slushies in here. And if you don't know this about me, fun little tidbit, I decided for July, I was not gonna drink any more Coke just to do it, just to have less sugar. And you know what? I'm gonna have the same amount of sugar because even though I'm not getting a frozen Coke, I'm gonna get a 
slushy, which could be arguably more sugar. But you know what, it's fine. All right, now we're moving on to Frontierland, but I will note Big Thunder Mountain Railroad is currently a 60 minute wait. So we are not gonna do that task. Instead, we are gonna head over to the Frontierland Shoot Arcade, hang out there for 15 minutes and get, some, get in some, some practice. Which I'm also thinking, because I'm gonna do the easier one point task, maybe we do one of the shows to get some bonus points so we can hop in Country Bear Jamboree. And then, I'm trying to think what other show, maybe the Castle Stage show, if that works out by the time that I'm in the hub. Because I, I need to rack up some bonus points in case Emma beats me, I don't know. Here we are, Fantasyland Station. I got my slushie, there's a lid on it. I believe they'll let me take it on because I have a lid on it. Um, but here we go, I'm gonna get two points. Now the Frontierland Shooting Arcade, I feel like it's more hidden. Not a lot of people know that it's here, but you can come over here and have some fun, spend some time at the Shooting Arcade, and it's free, totally free. You don't have to pay for this. Just walk up and get in some target practice. show all about the country fairs, animatronics, got some singing, singing and stomping, clapping and growling. It's a wild and wooly good time and it's in AC. Honestly, I love the country fairs, so let's go. Here doing my one lap and I won't lie to y'all I'm so sleepy now <laughs> so we're gonna head over to Tomorrowland it's our last land officially before we get to the hub in Main Street I've not heard from Fry so I couldn't tell you where she's at but maybe I still have a chance that felt like it took way too long though alrighty now we're good to leave Frontierland and we're going on to Adventureland I don't know where Emma is right now. I'm a little nervous. Oh. Castle show just ended. Actually, no, it didn't end. It's in the middle. But, okay. Let's go do Adventureland. Um, I'm leaning more towards watching the Tiki Room. I don't know if that's a good choice, though, because I need to do as many two-point tasks as I can. But I'd rather be inside in the AC right now than doing the Pirate's Adventure. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, maybe we do the Pirate's Adventure. Here in Tomorrowland, I have two options. I can either go on Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger Spin, and get, um, it's like Commander or higher, or I can head on the People Mover. I don't doubt at all that I could get the highest score I need to get, but I don't, oh my goodness, no. The wait time is 50 or 60 minutes. We're going on the People Mover. Sorry, Buzz. I truly wish it were you. I truly wish it were you. We've got our map, and the first one that we have to go find is the snake. So we're gonna, we shall need fresh cobra venom, okay? Looks like it's, so that's Aladdin. So it looks like it's over there. So let's go. All right, we made it up here. I still have not heard from Fry. It's making me nervous, but here we go. Okay, I think it's somewhere over here. 
Let's go look. I have to find something to scan my bands. Oh, there's the symbol. Look over here on the face of the armoire. That magical mark will show you where to find the next part of the spell. Oh. A skull and crossbones, bien sûr. Find that magical mark on your map to awaken the spirits of former pirates. them if you want to try it when you're here here next time in Magic Kingdom. So Adventureland is done. We are moving on to the next land. But if I happen to stop by the spring roll car on my way, can you blame me? Hey, goodbye people mover. Thank you for all of your help. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> a train ride and then immediately do people ever. It's just so relaxing and it, it's just a good way to do your day. But if you know that you're going to get tired, maybe consider not doing exactly what I just did. Even though they're wonderful, maybe just break it up. Now I have the hub and the Emporium left. I'm really itching. I've not heard from Ryan. I'm getting nervous. So I'm going to do probably the two quicker options and hopefully I can get those extra five points. I truly don't know. Because she can be mean by two points and it might matter because of my last decisions. And sometimes you just have to choose the, you know, you have to make the choices. Like I would have waited almost 40 minutes for a Hall of Presidents, so it didn't make sense in the moment. And uh, it may just have been a mistake. I don't know. Actually, you know what? We're not gonna stop at the spring roll cart because the harder task at the hub is getting a snack from both of the snack carts. So I'll just do that instead. And instead of wasting time on this challenge, I will be completing it. One of the options was to get a snack from every snack cart. I have had too many foods today. And honestly, it wouldn't take that long, but I've just, I've had too many snacks. So for my own body, I have to make a different choice. And the other choice is for one point, I can do the super zoom shot, which is kind of fun. I've never done it. If you don't know what that is, it's a special magic um, photo pass shot. Let's hope that is open today. Entered is the hub and the two point harder task for this one is to get a snack from both snack carts. So one on each side. Maybe we get some popcorn. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Let's do that. All right, first snack acquired. I'm gonna eat it on my way across the hub to the other snack cart and we're gonna get something else. Now I think I'm gonna get a churro so I can have something salty and something sweet. That sounds like a great snack to me. Okay, now I'm going down Main Street. I have two options left. One is to get a personalized hat. The other is to find the most expensive piece of merchandise in Main Street. To be totally honest with you guys, I don't know what that is off the top of my head and it might take me too long. So I'm just gonna go 
get a personalized hat. And from the second snack stand, I got the pretzel with the cheese sauce. So we're gonna find a spot, eat our snacks, and move on. Okay, so here we are. Town Square Theater, this is where you're going to head inside to find where to personalize your Mickey hats. This is one of those things that is really a Disney tradition. I have several personalized hats from Disney World and Disneyland growing up. And they're just nice and cute. And honestly, they're a little bit more expensive, but they're a great personalized souvenir that you will always keep. So here we are in the back. Embroidered and trimmed to order, personalized, all manners, featuring headwear with characters. Here we go. All right, I picked a spot on the hub grass. Here's my haul. We've got a pretzel with cheese and some popcorn. And we're just sitting here in the ambiance of Magic Kingdom. But we do need to hurry because it is competition. So we're gonna eat quickly. Okay, because of the weight, I grabbed my hat. I'm gonna get it embroidered. He's gonna take nice care of me. But then Brian and I have agreed as soon as I pay, I'm done here. Yeah, so I get the five points made. I did make sure to ask her. I don't know where she's at. She could be done and she's just waiting to let me know. But we agreed that if one of us pays for this, this counts as the task being done because the embroidery is backed up for a little while. Okay, our last land is Main Street. And I'm gonna do the two point task, but we kinda need to hurry because I also want to make sure I catch Festival of Fantasy as it comes down Main Street to get those bonus points. Okay, so here I am. I just went ahead and texted Fry that I finished. I believe I finished before her. She's gonna confirm for me, but here I am with my receipt. Okay, I just put in my order. I ordered my hat. It's gonna be very, very cute. Um, but I'm just gonna stand here at the end of Main Street, watch the parade come by and get those bonus points. Okay, we've made it back together. I'm noticing you have a new hat on. One, two, three. It's 24. <laughs> I almost regretted all of my decisions when I heard you say 20, like in a snapshot. Yeah. That's insane. How do we always end up like this? I don't know. But what's even crazier is like, I did not know where you were almost all day. I didn't either. Yeah. You didn't know where you were all day? Yeah. That's how intense it gets here. <laughs> it gets to you and you think, where am I? I don't know. She forgot she was in Magic Kingdom. I forgot I had points. Yep. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. I introduced them to the world of cold brew. Oh, I thought you think chipmunks needed the energy? 